Let's buy a little white house on the corner of nothing and nowhere. Well, we purchased this land in 2007. We lived over the road. We'd always admired this block of land. Um, originally, this was sugar cane many years ago. Then when this became available, we had no hesitation in purchasing it because at that time Esther was into alpacas. We had three acres over there and we thought, well, another 10, that's really gonna be handy. And it's such good soil, such really green grass all year round. So we developed it. The first thing we did was we put the dam in, made that really, really deep. Um, plenty of water supply there. Then we put a shed in down the back and we cut up a little bit of the land so we could have some paddocks for the alpacas. It was doing really well. Then we thought, rightio, we'll build a house. The time has come to build a house on this property. So we sold over the road and we actually lived in the shed for eight months while this place was being built. We moved into this, this house in September 2009. By that stage, Esther had oh, around 45 alpacas. She had plenty, she was right into to breeding them. Um, and showing, yeah. showing them as well. And showing them. Um, it was in 2010 that she took out um, the Gold Coast show um, with one of her alpacas, which she was very, very happy about. She was chuffed about that. And over the years, we've had many animals. We've had donkeys, um, goats, sheep. horses, sheep. Sheep are good because they keep the grass down. Um, and of course, heaps of chooks. And uh, two cows. And two cows, yes. Yeah. It's, it's... We've had a menagerie. Mm. But it's been great for our children. Our children have grown up here and gone to the school just across from us to Rivermount College and they've had a great time there and graduated from there. But in saying that, we never, we never needed to do anything or go anywhere because they had so much to do here with their animals. Simone was into, the eldest one was in the horses, so she had her own horse. The others were into the alpacas with me. There was plenty to do down at the riverbank, fishing, um, soccer. All our Christmases, all our celebrations were celebrated here. So many, many special memories are from here. And I've always viewed this place as the hub of the wheel because we're so close to everything. We're half an hour from Brisbane, we're half an hour from the Gold Coast, and it's so quiet, it's so peaceful. Cold. We're going to miss it, but it's just getting too much for us. The kids have all left home, well, they left home, and they all came back, and then they left again. Uh, and, and now we find it's just too much. We're constantly cleaning the house, and I'm mowing the lawn, so it's time for someone else to take over the reins and, and look after this wonderful, wonderful property. And, and my job now is I am a trauma counsellor and I often refer to down the river as the therapy room because there's nothing better and quieter and more peaceful than going down there. If you're just sitting down there watching the bird life or watching the fish jumping out of the water, doing their thing, the birds landing and taking off, or if you're fishing you'll be pleasantly surprised because you're always catching something. There's plenty of fish in the river. And uh, it's, just, it's just a very quiet place. It's away from suburbia, you can come home and you know you can relax. And as you can hear behind us, there's, the bird life is just all the time. We have magpies in the morning serenading us from the front doors. Uh, we have cockatoos flying over during the day. We have rosellas in, the, in our, we planted a lot of native trees. Um, a lot of rosellas and other bird, willy wagtails, you name it, we have it. And mm. that's been really, really good. That's something I'm going to miss because we enjoy sitting where we are right now, listening to all the bird life and watching it. And of course, at the moment, the sunsets. The sunsets are absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, we do get good sunsets here. We really do, yeah.